Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and I'm going to show you how to do this uh, fun little doozy. Um, so this is challenging because there's no way directly to find the area of that shaded region. Um, it's not a complete sector, and it's not a shape we really know anything about. However, we can use a strategy that we uh, use a lot in dealing with area of unusual shapes, which is if we find the area of that entire sector, so this entire thing, and then we separately find the area of this triangle, the missing piece of it, or the, the kind of the white space there, we can subtract the area of the sector and subtract the area of the triangle from it. Um, and so that's a strategy you're going to see used in a lot of area problems, um, and so that's the approach. So then the question is, how do we do that? Well, the area of the sector should be pretty straightforward. We know since that central, since that arc is 120, the central angle is 120. So to find the area of the sector, we're just going to use our formula, which is 120 out of 360 times pi times 18 squared. And so that reduces to 1 third times pi times whatever 18 squared is. I should probably have had that scheduled ahead of time, so whoops. Uh, 18 times 18, you can fast forward through this if you need to, uh, which is 324. And so we end up one third of 324 is 108, so that's 108 pi. So that's the area of the sector. Now we need to find the area of the triangle. So that triangle is going to be a little bit tricky. So there's two ways you can approach it. I'm going to show you both. One is, if we're looking at the triangle oriented this way, this is the base, but then the height of the triangle would actually be this piece kind of floating around out there. So if we look at it that way, that's the height of the triangle, and I can create this right triangle here. And so since we knew that this was 120, and this whole angle here, whoops, this is a straight angle here, then we know that this is 60. And since this radius is 18, this radius is also 18. And so we can do use what we know about a 30, 60, 90 to find the height. So if this is 18, the short leg is 9, and so the height is 9 rad 3. And so to find the area of the triangle, we can do 1 half base times height, which is half of 18 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81, so that's 81 rad 3. And then to find the area of the piece we're finding, I'll go back to our original plan, the area of the sector, which is 108 pi, minus the area of the uh, triangle, which is 81 rad 3. Um, and so in terms of simplifying that, there's not really, <laughs> you can't really simplify that any further. Um, and so even though it's kind of ugly, that is the best possible answer. That is the exact answer. Um, we've got, it's an irrational number because of the pi and the rad 3. Um, I do want to show you quickly another way to find the area of the triangle, because um, sometimes what I just showed you there may not be feasible. Um, and so another way to do it is to orient the triangle a little differently, which is to orient it with this as the base and this as the height. Um, and so again, we had that this angle in here was 120 which makes this 60 and this 30. So that's a 30, 60, 90 as well. And so if the hypotenuse is 18, the short leg is nine, the long leg there is nine rad three, but then that means the other long leg is also nine rad three. So in calculating the area of the triangle that way, it's one half the base, which is 18 rad 3, because that's the 9 rad 3 plus the 9 rad 3, 
and then the height, which is the 9, and you'll notice that that's going to end up being the same thing that we got the other way we calculated it. Um, half of 18 is 9, so that becomes 9 rad 3 times 9, which is 81 rad 3. So two different approaches for finding the area of that triangle. Whichever one works for you is great. That's all for now. Thanks.